Welcome back to Plant Revelations, horticultural friends. It's nearly the 21st of June tomorrow, so summer will officially begin. Longest day of the year and all that in the UK. It's going to be nice, a bit of nice warm weather. It's also daily season, so daily, not dahlias, or dahlias, if you're that way inclined. So, daily season means it's also going to be Hermacallis gormage season. A nasty little obnoxious tiny midge like fly which will decimate your daylilies. So, today in this video, we're going to look at how we can um, eliminate this bug, catch it before it gets out of control. Um, stay tuned to find out more. So as you can see, here are some infected buds. Now, the first thing to notice is like misshapen, blistery, and these are, this is actually a variety called Bella Lugosa. It's a really nice one, rich, dark, deep, and deep, deep burgundy flowers. Uh, this is Bella Lugosa in flower, just for reference. I've sacrificed my daylilies for you this year because I haven't actually gone out and been picking off the infected flowers like I normally would before it gets out of control. So here's a bit of a harvest here of infected flowers and that's almost, that's not very infected, so that's almost like a normal one. But I can just tell it's infected by a few bumps here. So I've took that off. This is heavily infected. So you can see the difference. If we break this open, it's going to be full of little tiny maggots. So the fly lays the eggs on the buds as they form. And as the plant, as the bud grows, it causes it to be deformed. And the maggots feed on the bud as it grows and grows and grows. But because they're feeding on it, they're causing it to be deformed. Basically, and misshapen, and it never opens properly. Now, if you get a small infestation like one or two maggots, then the bud might open. But you can see when we open this bud up, there's the maggots. Disgusting. Uh, some of these, well, actually, uh, they're actually on my hand. <laughs> you can see the maggot there. But the bud tends to go like just juicy and wet and just like when you touch it, it's like all this gunk, just, I guess it's sap, just comes out. So I'm just going to put these in the green bin and um, they'll dry out, the buds will dry out in the bin and the, the midges will die. So just to reiterate the difference, look, infected not infected, completely different looking, bumpy, round, long, thin and smooth. So, very easy at this stage, but as you get better at picking them up, you'll notice them when they're just forming, and you can catch them even earlier. So this plant isn't as badly infected as the one you've seen before, this one is called Hermacallis Mona Loa. Really nice, big, dusky, pink, not pink, sorry, orange flowers. Um, so it's a bit behind the other one. We can see it's already got infected, look. That's definitely infected, it's rounded. Now, so is that one, look. You can see it's bumpy. More sort of teardrop shape. Um, this one's less infected, but you can see it's bumpy, it's still infected, so I'd just remove that anyway. Um, there's some more here, look. and I'll keep an eye on this over the next few days. Just, pink, just picking out any of the buds which are going round rather than long and thin. I mean, 
you can be a bit too ze overzealous with this and um, or zealous with this and um, break off buds that are actually fine but you, it's one of those little tasks a bit like picking off a lily beetle you need to be out here every other day and as the buds grow it'll be quite clear which ones are infected but if you break that cycle there'll always be more insects that come on the wind but if you break the cycle you won't end up with an infestation you'll just have the odd bud that you lose the larvae won't because the larvae of the first set of buds will quickly eat the buds, metamorphose, and then reinfect the buds which haven't flowered yet. So it's really important to stay on top and be diligent with it. So it's about a week later, and as you can see, it's a few flowers have come out, but there's still there's a couple that have turned since I last came to have a look. And it is literally just a case of repeating that. This should look great. We've lost a handful of flowers. And if I hadn't have taken them off, we would have lost them all. So, so hopefully that's helped you out with your daily problems. Um, you're probably wondering why not just spray. Saves you getting mucky fingers, picking up the buds and everything. Well, the problem is the bug is actually really resistant to pesticides so the best thing you can do is actually pick them off by hand also if you spray the plant with a systemic pesticide it will just get cycled around the plant and any insects that pollinate those flowers like moths bees hoverflies butterflies which are all endangered at the moment well not endangered they're all basically their numbers have reduced by 70 percent uh since the 70s or 80s in the UK so they're really in need of help so it's better if you can not spray also pets not great for pets children you've got to think of children and you could accidentally spray yourself and it's meant to kill insects so it's not going to do you much good sorry about the background noise so I think that's it please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video have a good one. Ciao, ciao for now.